What is the quadratic formula? The quadratic formula is a milestone along the path to fully understanding algebra. To understand it, to value it, and to apply it correctly, you need to know a tiny bit of its background. Polynomials, expressions in many terms, can have linear, square, and cubic values. Confusion enters when we look at the word quadratic, because it implies four of something, like a quadrilateral. But the origin of the word means to make square, as in length times width. These squares, these exponents to the second degree, are powers of two. So a quadratic polynomial has at its highest value something to the second degree, something squared. Consider a quadratic equation in standard form. ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. As long as a does not equal zero, you should be able to factor the quadratic equation. Sometimes, though, this gets confusing or messy, or you cannot factor it. Using the quadratic formula, you can always find a solution to any quadratic equation. Let's start with an easy quadratic equation x squared plus 5x plus 6 equals 0. For the quadratic formula to apply, the equation you are untangling needs to be in the form that puts all variables on one side of the equal sign and 0 on the other. Our quadratic equation will factor, so it is a great place to start. First, we factor the equation. We are seeking two numbers that multiply to 6 and add to 5. We can see that either expression equals 0, since multiplying at times the other expression yields 0. We can set each expression equal to 0 to find our two x values. Our two values for x are negative 2 and negative 3. Comparing our example, x squared plus 5x plus 6 equals 0, to the standard form of the quadratic equation, which can also just be called the quadratic, to get these values. a equals 1, b equals 5, c equals 6. Now we can use those in the quadratic formula and check, since we already know our answers are negative 2 and negative 3. And the ever-reliable quadratic formula confirms the values of x as negative 2 and negative 3. Now, let's discuss x-intercepts. In an equation like a times x squared plus b times x plus c equals y, set y equal to 0 and work out the equation. The possible x values will be the x-intercepts. Think of how much we know about our graph solution even before we perform any algebraic calculations. Since the equation will yield two solutions for x, we have two x-intercepts. We will have a parabola. We can start plotting the parabola with two ordered pairs, x1, 0, and x2, 0. The vertex of the parabola will be between the two x-intercepts. By solving the algebraic equation, you have given yourself a head start on graphing the equation. Graphing calculators will probably not be equal to the precision of the quadratic formula. Use the calculator to verify the rounded results, but expect them to be slightly different. In solving quadratics, you help yourself by knowing multiple ways to solve any equation. Start solving a quadratic by seeing if it will factor. What two factors multiply to give c that will also sum to give b? You can also try completing the square. Still struggling? Then apply the quadratic formula. Use any of these methods and graphing to check an answer derived using any other method. Use the quadratic formula to check factoring, for instance. Let's try this example. 2x squared minus 5x minus 7 equals 0. First, we can factor it. and we get x equals negative 1 and x equals 3.5. Then we can check it with the quadratic formula using these values. a equals 2, b equals negative 5, 
c equals negative 7. Solve for x and you get the same answers. x equals negative 1 and x equals 3.5. If you then plotted it on a graphing calculator, your parabola would have a vertex of 1.25, negative 10.125 with x-intercepts of negative 1 and 3.5. Here is a quadratic that will not factor. x squared minus 7x minus 3 equals 0. No factors of negative 3 add to negative 7, so you cannot use factoring. If all you knew was factoring, you would be stuck. But you know to try the quadratic formula with these values. a equals 1, b equals negative 7, c equals negative 3. When using the quadratic formula, you must be attentive to the smallest details. Work very carefully, keep track of your signs, work methodically, and skip nothing. Then use a different method to check your work. No matter which method you use, the quadratic formula is available to you every time. It will always work. Jump down to the last section of the article below for some tips to help you avoid mistakes.